Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby, and today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're decorating some nautical cookies. For our boat, we're going to start by flooding in the white part of the sail. For our piping consistency icing, we're starting with an Ateco number one tip. And for our 10 second flooding consistency icing, we're going to be using a number three, Wilton. In this case, I've left a space in between the two sails to act like a mask. Now we'll let this part of the boat dry for about an hour and then we'll go in and complete the other side. Let's give this boat a little bit more time to dry, then we'll go in for the rest of the piping details. Now with some piping consistency icing and a number one Ateco tip, let's add some detail to our sails. And there you have it, this ship's ready to set sail. We'll start by flooding the anchor in a solid gray. Now we'll let this heavyweight dry for about 6 to 12 hours before we go in and complete some piping. Now using our piping consistency icing and a number one Ateco tip, let's add a rope to our anchor. Anchors away, this cookie's all done. With a little time to dry, we'll be all set for our next steps. For the ship's steering wheel, I've used a couple different size cookie cutters and my scribing tool to gently mark in the icing where we should pipe. Let's work from the inside out. Now I'll let this cookie dry for another 6 to 12 hours before completing its piping detail. Now we'll finish the steering wheel of our ship using some piping icing and a number one Ateco tip. This wheel is ready to steer us into uncharted waters. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Cool Cookie Show. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Want to be a part of the creativity? Let me know what characters and shapes you'd like to see in the comments below. For more of my cookie creations, check out my channel, tune in every Tuesday, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, stay sweet!